test. In liberal democratic country, it is a fact that society has progressed their view on sex industry. People have started to see that individual decision to get into the sex industry as a valid option. It is as the form of individual freedom to pursue meaningful definition of their sexuality. People started to have much more meaningful discussion on how both men and women should pursue and define their sexuality, especially women who for too long their sexuality is defined by toxic patriarchal value. It is a fact that these sex workers are no longer seen as a pariah in society. They are rather considered influential sexual icon and respected entertainment industry figure in society. They have a very strong presence and engagement in social media platform. People no longer feel ashamed to connect with those porn stars through IG or Twitter correspondence and even prominent YouTube channel like Asian Boss routinely feature former and present sex workers to give their insight about the industry without being judged upon their involvement and more, important, more importantly how this creates a narrative that a discussion on sex industry is not a taboo. Considering all this progress I've mentioned before, as an opening government we propose the motion that this house regrets the portrayal of sex workers as a victim. Two points in my speech. Number one, why the narrative uh, of sex workers as a victim only hurt the sex workers but also society and number two why ab abandoning this narrative is going to benefit all of us especially sex workers my dpm will talk further about the consequences of feeding to this narrative but before that contextualization number one this is value judgment debate number two what do we mean as a portrayal this could be in form of media or societal narrative which try to uh, tell the story of individual who get into the sex industry and saying that they, they choose this path out of economic or social desperation. Either people use this narrative uh, uh, that they are a victim of the economic struggle or peer pressure or saying that the sex industry is too manipul manipulative so that's why they, they get into that. Obviously, team opposition will defend this particular characterization, but we say, number one, alternatives are available to anyone. We are not in the era where women are not allowed to participate in election or African American are barred from ent entering college, thus barring them from climbing up socio-economic ladder. Even if you are poor, there are welfare scheme or any government governmental effort to alleviate poverty, such as microcredit access to poor women in Bangladesh or free vocational training. Notice that in both sides, prostitu prostitution uh, still exists anyway. If team opposition would like to take the burden that they are going with the world without such industry, number one, good luck with that. Number two, we will prove to you why normalizing and decriminalizing sex industry is going to be much better option, ladies and gentlemen. Number three, obviously, this, is, this isn't the this isn't a debate about victim of revenge porn or any unconsented taping of sexual activity or we are not talking about underage porn because all the team in this today in, 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 in today's debate agree that that is crime and all teams should oppose that particular characterization. Okay, going, going to my first point, why uh, the portrayal uh, of um, the, uh, uh, why this motion hurts the sex workers and also society. As I explained to you before, ladies and gentlemen, that the notion that the individual should have freedom to access and pursue any kind of definition and practices of their sexuality that is meaningful to them, it is very important. This, mean that, this means that people should not be ashamed with the idea of promiscuity, uh, their sexual preferences, their sexual desires, and etc. Why is this important? Number one, people should have a complete authority towards their body, their mind, and their sexuality. Number two, people should deserve unconditional respect over their decision upon their body and, 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 their, sexual, and their sexuality. Why the narrative why, this, why the narrative that we are discussing in today's debate destroying this? Because society uses the narrative to control the self-worth and the sense of respect that, this, this, that these sex, work, sex workers deserve. The sense of victimization entrenched the notion that the sex industry is filthy, morally abhorrent, and a crime. So if you get into this particular um, industry, your, your access toward your self-worth and self-respect strip off. And this is far worse for women, especially because we, we are living in a society where the, this notion is heavily rooted from the patriarchal value, which dictates how women are being worth, ladies and gentlemen. We say that this is a social construct and changeable anyway. And why we think that this hurts sex worker? Several reasons. Number one, because firstly, any work you have done uh, in industry, in this industry are seen as a sinful and deviant. No appreciation and credit given to the sex workers who treat this as a means of sex 
a self actualization art or legitimate entertainment industry content. Number two, invalidated any valid motivation that these sex workers pursue when they get into this industry, be it economical, artistic pursuit, or etc. But number three, we think it is arbitrary that the, that the, that these sex workers are treated far worse than any job in other form of employment just because it involves sex. Notice that any employment entails any form of mutual exchange in which that it requires you to give in your mind and physique to your employer in, 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 in exchange of monetary compensation. This is no different uh, than in a sex industry. But number two, even if opposition came up and say that there is inevitable nuance of manipulation in sex industry that lure this woman to get into that, we think this is wrong. Number one, there's a cl clear legal procedure involved in sex industry, like signing contract and etc. So you know that the ramification of involving in this industry. But number two, in status quo, aside of monetary compensation, you gain popularity, etc. This is exactly why porn industry in Japan is so thriving because the magnitude of fame and how economically lucrative it, it is in form of you know, you're getting loyalty, ladies and gentlemen. So we think that number four, it, it, it hurts even more so social minority whose option is already so limited, like migrant who moved to new country without proper, proper language skill and very, very limited job opportunity. More often than not, they resort to sex industry to sustain their life. We say the sex industry gives them power and ability to pursue life that they are dreaming and deserve. We think that their option should be supported and embraced. In, uh, we say that portrayal of sex workers as a victim only further devalue their worth, further discriminate them, and spiral, further, for, for, spiral them further into poverty. All in all, we, we prove to you why this only hurts the sex, um, the sex, uh, sex worker in this industry. Why, uh, argument number two, why it is better uh, without this narrative? We think that it is a common notion that sex industry are closely linked to sexual diseases like HIV or physical abuse or sexual abuse. Sex worker, uh, this is, this happened because sex, wo sex worker are barred from accessing proper healthcare apparatus or uh, like clinic, hospital, and law enforcement like lawyer. Why this happened? Because the narrative that sex workers um, uh, as a victim makes the approach of sex uh, makes the approach to sex industry is to terminate this industry instead of provide better environment. Which we think that by having this particular um, narrative, we only make the uh, the environment and the ability of these individuals to get much better meaningful uh, experience within this uh, industry is being halted, ladies and gentlemen. So we prove to you, number one, why did it only hurts uh, hurt sex, sex workers, hurt society, sex all of us, so that's why we back to propose. So one response is to the Prime, Ministers, the Prime Minister of the House. Uh, so they say that alternative in status quo were accessible, how even women can campaign themselves in politics, even women can sign up in election. But we think that notice how this kind of woman is not the is not the case that we are currently talking about, right? Because this woman that is signed up in election is privileged to begin with, ladies and gentlemen. They have political degree, they have money to campaign, so on and so forth. We think that this kind of woman that is being that is committed to being sex worker is not is not this privilege. And I'm going to prove you why in my argument. So moving on to my first argument. But first, I'm going to explain the reason of why someone is being sex worker. We think that that is because they cannot uh, access education to begin with. So they cannot access education when they are young. They didn't have any qualification to, to, to applying jobs and so on and so forth. So, and, and they have to pay tons of bills, for example. They have to pay, pay for their healthcare and they have 
to pay the bills of their family and so on and so forth. So that is why they didn't have another option. They didn't have any opt-out mechanism rather than being sexual workers. So moving on to my first argument, why the portrayal is justifiable. We think that at the very first place, no one wants to no one is one to be sexual worker. No one is want this job to begin with. No, thank you. No one is dreaming to be a sexual worker. Everyone is dreaming to be a doctor, investor, and so on and so forth, right? It is simply because they were also concerned about the fact that our society is going to hate you, how you're going to be ashamed for being lazy, and so on and so forth, without even noticing how unprivileged the sexual worker is. Our society is giving them a, bot a bad portrayal because they cannot notice the, the suffer that they have been through. So even so even in feminist movement there are also some people that is still campaign comparing them with gold digger for example or there are still some feminists that that still portray them as a someone who is just brings harm to the name of a woman, to the name of feminist movement. So so we think that so why it has to be sex worker? That is because it is their last of out mechanism. Be because we have proof to you that even feminist movement, that even that even how the progressivity of feminist movement movement cannot help this kind of people, right? Even even their society, their family cannot pay for their bills. Even feminist movement cannot reach them, ladies and gentlemen. So this is shows to you no one is can no one can help them to at the very first place, ladies and gentlemen, except their so the so that that is because they cannot uh, so so we think that and also we think that it is the only way to sustain their self so that is because that is because they cannot access education at the very first place they cannot access education when they are young so that they they didn't have any degree to apply jobs ladies and gentlemen they didn't that is because they are they cannot access the qualification that our society ex that our, our society expect ladies and gentlemen they cannot reach the qualification of our society they cannot reach the the qualification of applying a jobs ladies and gentlemen so this is exactly proves to you uh, it is it is not the uh, so it is not their intention to be it is not their intention why it is not their intention to not having that degree? That is because even if, even if uh, go in schools in the status quo is free, but we think that to survive in that school, you have to still spend tons of money. Why? Because, because for example, you have you you have to still pay, you have you still have to uh, pay for uniforms, books, practice, and so on and so forth. So this is shows to you how. This is shows to you how how these sex workers were actually cannot access cannot uh, cannot access these books, for example, so that they cannot access the society's expectation. They cannot uh, they cannot reach the society's qualification, ladies and gentlemen. But the sustainability that they they the only thing that they have is their body, ladies and gentlemen. So it is their last choice, ladies and gentlemen. It is okay to pre prohibit someone if they have two options, but. But we think that they only have one option. Why? That is because it, that is because when they are young, they cannot access they cannot access uh, education. They cannot access uh, anything at all, ladies and gentlemen. So, so it is their last choice. So, uh, moving on to my second argument, why this portrayal is so important? That is because this this portrayal is the only reason of them of these sex workers to survive ladies and gentlemen that is because these sex these sex worker were able to notice that there are still a lot of people that is uh, that is actually care to them ladies and gentlemen there is still a lot of people that is concerned about about how unprivileged are they since they since they are since they are young ladies and gentlemen there are still a, a lot of people that is uh, that is uh, that is <coughs> that is unprivileged when they are young, ladies and gentlemen. So this is important because with 
Without this portrayal, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this this unprivileged people will end their life, ladies and gentlemen. Why? That is because they they that is because they they cannot notice that. Eh, that is because there will be no one that is actually going to uh, care with them. There is no, no one that is actually going to uh, that is going to concern about their their life, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you. We believe that the government side is much better. First, first response to the opening opposition's argument. They say that uh, this kind of sex workers are not equal in work, but we cannot make a hierarchy regarding employment. They say this kind, they are trying to say this kind of work is low. No, every work, every kind of profession deserves equal. When we are regretting this when we are uh, agreeing with this portrayal, we are devaluating this kind of work that gives them money to survive. We, we don't agree that they, they say, oh, they are, they are a victim because they have to sell their body. But we, we say it's okay. They are trying to be survive in the first place. And they have the profession to live. What? You want them to, to don't have any profession at all rather than hand, have this profession? They, I think it's going to happen the opposition side. They want to portray this, portray this woman as victim. And thus, the woman who probably needs money to survive will be afraid because they see the society sees me as a low thing and this is what will happen in the opposition side and also opposition say these workers are desperate in economical terms yeah sometimes it's true but it's worse in the opposition side of the house i believe so because look the moment that we this woman are desperate to survive they want to look for job but when you uh, portray this kind of work as victim this woman will be afraid they will be afraid of we look at as a victim by the society. The society will devalue him. The society will say, "Ah, you are a victim of economy. You are so poor, but you uh, do you sell your body." When you are agreeing to this portrayal, that means that you want them not to survive anymore in the opposition side. And and also we have said that government provides welfare system, so it's it's already up to the sex workers' choice to enter this. Even if under economical urge, it's still under her choice. So she's not really that victimized by economy or an etc. Similar to like that. But we believe agreeing to this portrayal will be harmful in the end of the day. How it will be harmful? First, when you, are, when you agree that woman or sex worker is a victim, when we agree to this narration, we will, society will turn against this uh, sex industry. Society will think that, oh yeah, this sex industry has victimized those kind of lady. And thus, we believe this kind of industry will run into black market, run into an unknown territory where they will be hard to be traced or be regulated in the end of the day. This, this society will be more, sec this kind of industry will be more secluded because they will be condemned by society in the first place. Society will be actively against them. Society of society's view regarding this, they will say this kind of industry has victimized women when we agree to this narrative. Thus, they will, t after not only turning to black market, it's already worse enough, when they are underground, they will be reduced the government's involvement in the first place. Look, government is already try, has been trying to protect this kind of woman like such as uh, maybe uh, giving them a chance to turn back and etc. But we believe that when you are already pushing this kind of industry away, you, the woman who works in this kind of industry will be dragged along this industry industry to the black market. No, thank you. And so, we believe that when this industry turns into a secluded place, goes into the more deep web where they are hard to trace, it means that you, they will be not be able to be regulated well because they are hard to find in the first place. They will try to reduce witness and that's how, this, how does this affect the sex worker? It will make sex worker more vulnerable in the end of the day. When this, when this sex workers uh, follow the industry that is condemned by the society into the black market, they will be vulnerable to rape, abuse, or maybe other things that they don't like, physical abuse, sexual abuse, or rape, and they cannot really go out 
or, or be protected by the government because they are they are into the illegal things. When it, this type, kind of things turns illegal because of the society's narrative, like this, when we agree to this narrative, this kind of woman will be, uh, perhaps if they are raped, they will be feared to go to authority because I already work in the illegal side. And But we believe that we should not agree to this because we will not drive this woman further away from the government's grab. Government can provide a protection. Government can pro protection such as authority. When, the, when they are abused, they can come to this authority. But when they are in the black market, because you're illegal, government won't protect you in the, in the, in the end of the day. And also, most importantly, it will pro government will provide health care to this, this kind of woman. But when you're working into the illegal side, you're working into the illegal sex industry that the, because the society's view, they, when they agree to this narrative, they, this kind of woman will be vulnerable to more sexual disease such as HIV, uh, maybe syphilis or gonorrhea and many etc. of kind of disease because they cannot find more health care. They are afraid to go out because they already fallen into the black market. But when we don't agree to this narrative, the, the, this kind of industry won't go into black market in the first place. Society won't really condemn them. Thus, this kind of woman will still get health care. Government can still watch this kind of woman better because they are out in the open. They are illegal in the first place. But when you are turning this thing illegal by agreeing to this uh, narrative, th this kind of protection will be gone. You will be only worsening the condition for this sexual worker. And also, creating a good portrayal for this kind of woman is already hard enough. Why? Because men, because we are letting those those men or those people or conservative or religion define the sexuality of men and women for long enough. We are trying to normalize this kind of thing. We are trying to protect this woman. And once when we agree to the narrative, opposition will empower those conservatives or religious people to give more bad perception to society, to this kind of field. Religious or conservative will say this kind of bad. And we agree to the narrative. We are already uh, trying to give them power to say this, this kind of things of bad. And thus, people, society will condemn them even further. And thus, we will, we will, I have told you that it will reduce protection from government. Not only government, but the society themselves will be uh, not really pleased with this kind of thing anymore. They won't protect this kind of woman. How? Because because the moment the society thinks this industry victim as woman, they will be only focused on the industry's things. They will see the industry is, is bad. They will try to fight those industry, and thus the industry will be will be hurt. And the woman who's working will be don't have work in the end of the day. They will be don't have money because they have been uh, indulged in this kind of work to, for the long time. And also it will it will normalize seeing prostitution will be success in safe. We believe that it is better in our side. We are trying to normalize this. We don't try to give this kind of people to, uh, to further define this woman's future in the end of the day. Our side provides women safety rather than in their side. Also, it will empower patriarchy even further because male has defined women's value for too long. Men has said you cannot go to this, you cannot uh, uh, sell your body to women. But more of, more of all, it will empower the idea such as prosmicuity is a worse concept for women than men because when we agree to this narrative you people will see women is in this sex industry is bad but they don't see male is bad so it will uh, it will prove that patriarchy patriarch will be stronger just because you're women you will be harmed and viewed as a negative for example when we are agreeing to this narrative we people will see that giving virginity is bad because they see this woman ha is pitiable they will see that it's bad but we think it's okay for this kind of woman to sell their body it's up to their right and it's up to their will to survive in the end of the day compared to the opposition side which is why I, I believe we should always regret this narrative proud to propose
several so several social judgment that you are going to accept once you are going to choose to be a, a sexual worker. Number one, you are going to be scrutinized by the society. Number two, there is a high possibility that you are going to be excluded and even exiled by society. Number three, the fact that your possibly kid, for example, or other your uh, relatives you have is going to be publicly ashamed by their friends, for example, because they have a family that works as a sexual worker. N uh, number f uh, and the worst one is that how you are not going to, to be accepted in any other possible occupations because you are perceived as breaking your dignity constantly uh, by being a sex worker. What it means to you, it shows to you on how sex worker is an effort becomes people consent, but they uh, uh, but they have to become the sex worker because there are no other kinds of options that they can go. They are fair disqualified beca because they don't have any kinds of quality in education, for example, because they are under be because they are disadvantaged how the conditions in the past time that they don't have grant access to the education. There is to show there is precisely show show to you on how being a sex worker is something that is not on your consent, but you are going to do that because you have to, ladies and gentlemen. In our characterizations, we prove that, ladies and gentlemen. The government must prove. Uh, if uh, this kinds of social scrutiny is something that you will not get if you are being a doctor, or if you are being a nurse, if you are being a teacher. That is to say that opposition, when they try to similarize the sex worker as if it is similar with the other kinds of occupation, we think that is very wrong to begin with, ladies and gentlemen. The government team must prove how discrimination is their options to begin with, because we are sure that it's not ever their options, and how they have other options. In proposition, person becomes sex worker because that is what they want. That is to say that the social judgment is even being worse in their side because you are perceived violating women, women dignity by your consent. That is to say that these kinds of characterization needs to be faced by the teams of government. Uh, points of rebuttal for, the, for their case. They say that uh, the existence of prostitution and porn just through in status quo give, uh, that gives men revenue means that the sexual worker is something that needs to be accepted, means that sexual worker cannot be uh, portrayed as a victim less than the man. Here's the thing. Our response is our res response is that just because there are still uh, there are prostitutions and poor industry is still exists because there are still platform and available and people can still have access to that platform. What the government needs to prove is that why the existence of that thing means that it's inherently good. In our side, we are going to prove that even in status quo, for some underprivileged, being a labor with a very low income, for example, is exists because you have platform to that. Working in a company that violates the rights of labor is also exists because there are still companies that accommodate that kinds of interest, ladies and gentlemen. But that that is not the uh, but, but the reason why some people still opt in into that kinds of violating and abusive job is because they don't have any other option, ladies and gentlemen. That's to say that even if there is a thing that still exists, we don't think that that is a good thing to begin with. We think that the question will be, uh, the question will be whether uh, the question will be whether opting in in that kinds of particular job is the worker consent to such such harmful abusive job. We don't think it is because they uh, they have to because they don't have any other option. We think that the conditions it also happen in the case of sexual worker, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the violations is even also happen in porn industry, for example, on how women in porn industry are perceived as a inferior. There's always a sexual abuse where you, you are, in a, even in porn industry, you are being sexually abused. But the reason why the sex workers still opt in into that kind of particular job because they, they have, for example, signed a contract that they met when, at the time and at the con uh, circumstances when they are still being underprivileged, when they still don't have any other options but to opt in into that kinds of particular job. So we don't think that the access of part industry can justify that the sex worker have the freedom because at the very first time, we can see that it's not their freedom to begin with. Even if they clarify in regards to the concepts of body autonomy on how you are, you have freedoms over the access of your body on how you have the legality over full digitalization of your body. We don't think that the case of body autonomy prevail in this case, ladies and gentlemen. Body autonomy is only prevail when the very first beginning you have options to not using your body or using your body. That's to say that the concept of body autonomy is very prevalent the concept of abortion because in abortion you always have other options. But in case of uh, being sex or worker, we don't think that the body autonomy exists because in our characterization, we have proven to you that there are no other, any other options for this kind of community but to opt in into the sex working ladies and gentlemen. That's to say that the proposition never proved why this occupation is thing that they want to begin with, ladies and gentlemen. In my speech, I'm going to prove uh, one argumentation on how this narrative is going to bring at least sledgehammer to the sex worker. 
under our characterization, we prove to you that the sex worker, being a sex worker, because they have to, not because they want, ladies and gentlemen. Portray them as a victim will, number one, at the very least, there will be part of society who understand and have willingness to dwell and to research deeper in regards to why the sex worker choose to be a sex worker, ladies and gentlemen. There will be any of them who understand how disadvantaged they are because of the economic condition, ladies and gentlemen. What does that mean? It means that there will be still acceptance from those entities to begin with, ladies and gentlemen. In governments of the house, they cannot prove where the acceptance is going to be still happen when the social judgment is very high to begin with, ladies and men. We think that these kinds of places and acceptance is going to be something that's very important because even in a very microscopic acceptance, uh, they will have place to share, for example, and they will have place to pour all the measures of social discrimination they experience. We think that this is something that is very important because the pain that is suffered by the sexual worker is a mental pain. That is to say that the mental medication through sharing with the closest one and with the relatives that know your condition and understand the reason why you are became sex worker, the society that is not judging you is something that is very important in our side. But number two, portraying them as a victim is also good for the government, for the victims and the government relation. Because portraying them as victims will make the government will have incentive to target the sexual worker to give them assistance as men. Because the government will understand that the people become victims of social fabric because the government fail to make resources that can accommodate all layers of society and fail to make narratives to respect all humans in all occupations as men. This is also the value of government. Show them as a victim will give incentive to the government to to try to serve better life for the victims as and men. The government will try to reject their, their uh, to reject the reason why the people become uh, sex worker. The government will try to reject their disadvantaged circumstances and even at the best scenario is that the government is going to evaluate their policy in regards to how the policy they will ensure that it can accommodate all layers of society so there are no other society that's going to be left behind by the system ladies and gentlemen. In government side what will happen is that the government will normalize the condition that make the become that make the people become sex worker because sex worker is not violated as a victim. They to say that the government will normalize the condition. In their side, there will be no any kind of evaluation coming from the government because government thinks that there are no any problems because the reason why you become a sex worker because you want to. In our side, the reason why you become a sex worker because there's a problems in the government's evaluation and men. But moreover, there will be no incentive for government to be better in their side. We think that the motion falls. Thank you. Uh, understand that if you portray someone as a victim, then that victim must be vulnerable and in need of protection. But we believe that this portrayal of sex worker as a victim will not be any beneficial for the sex worker. I will prove to you that later. But first, responses were the opposition side of the house. They say that uh, the people, the people don't have any choice whatsoever. So they, they, so they didn't choose to become a sexual worker. This is false, ladies and gentlemen. But you understand that when you become a sexual worker, that means that you have to have some uh, at least have some social skills right and those social skills is actually a proof to you why this sexual uh, this sexual worker has actually seen as a very uh, superior job and not some low and filthy job that the that the opposition going to portray this as but they also say that there's not going to be any evaluation whatsoever from our side because of uh, because we say that people have their consent to become sexual workers but we believe that it is not a uh, it is not going to happen. Why? For an uh, industry like sexual industry uh, to still maintain and sustain their uh, access extensibility, then you have to evaluate all the progress that come from inside your industry, right? There you cannot you cannot just push someone to do something that is out of of their consent and simply uh, simply want to exist uh, in those industry. What I'm going to talk about in my speech, I'm going to talk about portraying them as a victim is not the best choice, but rather we have to portray them as someone that is actually 
uh, have the consent in pursuing this job. First, ladies and gentlemen, understand that becoming a sexual worker is not something that is bad just like how the society portray them as right now. Society might portray a sexual worker as someone that is uh, just want to have an easy money. But understand that becoming a sexual worker is not as simply as that. And that's why we have to at least acknowledge those progress for for them to become a sexual worker. How? Ladies and gentlemen, if we if we portray these people as a victim, then we uh, then we must uh, then we then we simply just justify or normalizing this kind of occupation, right? But this is wrong. Uh, CG believe that. CG believe that if you want to be seen as vulnerable and victim, this is not right. Why? Because the outcome of this kind of uh, this kind of characterization will be very bad. This could influence this could influence the society to normalize this kind of occupation and uh, and drive them to take this occupation. We believe that this is false. Uh, closing government believe that. We, of course, we both want to decrease the, uh, the sexual worker out of their consent. We, of course, believe that. But even if they say that those kind of uh, those kind of struggle happen, economical struggle happen, we believe that government already provide much platform to counter that. We have already provide you a platform for you to access education. We already provide you some platform to make sure that you have the same social labor. So this is not. This is not about someone who have privilege or no, but it's uh, about someone who seen this kind of uh, working occupation as something that is actually will be uh, beneficial for them or no. Understand that how now the society is already progressive. There is a movement like feminist f feminism movement, but they say that feminism movement even uh, condemn this kind of action. We believe that no, we, uh, we might not uh, we might not see in the same point of view as them, but the feminist movement will actually help this kind of woman. Why? Because first, feminist movement will actually uh, support any woman in any kind of situation, no matter what the situation is, because that is what they actually want, right? They want women to have the equal platform. And this kind of this kind of point of view is becoming an obstacle for the feminist agenda. Why? Because if we if we agree towards this kind of narrative, then we see uh, we see this sexual worker as an occupation that is not right in the eye of society. And that is will actually become an obstacle for the feminist movement. But we also believe that the feminist movement that is already progressive will help these people that is working inside the uh, Will, that is working inside this kind of industry when they are when they already acknowledge of not becoming a victim uh, playing in the narrative of victimhood is very dangerous for this uh, feminist movement and uh, if you then come in inside the victim hope of narrative it will be very threatening towards this feminist movement and so they don't want to help you and we say that in those kind of situation only feminism will not will not help this uh, this woman that is actually choosing to become a sexual worker as their uh, as their occupation but ladies and gentlemen understand that in the opposition side of the house they keep on they keep on saying that they don't have any other alternative but we say that it's uh and they say they uh, they say they they say just be, uh, because you can you can normalize this kind of action if you have two choice but we believe that this woman actually have two choices and gentlemen just because the fact that just because the fact that they see the sexual worker as something that is not acceptable as an occupation doesn't make it instantly right for them to uh, to bad narrative this kind of occupation why because like i said before ladies and gentlemen sexual sexual worker is not as simple as you as you selling your body and mind towards other people to say to uh, to uh, to gain money if there is the characterization or the definition of sexual worker then it's okay for them to say that but no ladies and gentlemen understand that for someone to become a sexual worker they must have at least uh, attractiveness right both in mind both in social skill or in uh, or in any kind of physical appearance but ladies and gentlemen uh, playing by this kind of narrative prove to you that it is indeed some not something that you should uh, something that you should portray as a victim because they have they have the assembly they have the ability to sustain their own self uh, and so we believe that if they're going to say the narrative of, uh, they, also, they also say that it's going to be beneficial in an election if you if you actually portray these people as a victim, so that you can come in inside, uh, you can come and say that we're going to reevaluate how someone is not seen in the same quality of humanization. But we say this is false. Why? First, ladies and gentlemen, 
there is not likely for any kind of election to bring up this kind of narrative because it's already threatening their uh, their career to begin with. There is just uh, just the fact that you are bringing this kind of topic inside your campaign for election will not simply become a right mechanism or right alternative or will instantly become a solution to counter this kind of problem, right? If they want to pursue this kind of mechanism, it will be harder for them to it will be harder for them to achieve that. But in our side, if we already reject this kind of narrative of victimhood, we have already established at least some platform for them to be seen as an equal occupation. It, uh, because we already give you a several reason, both from opening or closing, that this is a very, uh, this is a very, uh, this is a job that is not low and filthy. Because they are, they, you have to have some exclusive ability to pursue this kind of occupation. Based on that, we prepare to propose. Ladies and gentlemen, as team closing opposition, we will extend this debate by bringing an argument that will ex that will prove to you on why under our side of the house, the government will have the incentive to actually uh, provide better welfare for these sex workers so that they will not there will be less sex workers in the future, and we will also provide you reasonings on on, on about the uh, society and uh, and the benefits of this actual uh, this this portrayal that uh, sex workers are being victim in in this kind of specific scenarios. But for that, some responses toward uh, both government and the house. First, OG, they say that uh, so, they say this, they say that uh, uh, society, the moment society is against those sex industry, it will lead to them getting less and less for profits and go, they are going through bad black market. We said that number one, they will not go through black market anyway because uh, this uh, this is not true. Notice that in the status quo, how people actually are against them, but they still want to go. They still will not go through the black market anyway because, uh, and they also and they also simply assume that people will or, or will or oppose them at the end of the day, and uh, and they will not go through black market anyway because a people if because even if they are being opposed by society, they will still go on anyway because. Uh, because these opposites aren't that much harmful towards them anyway. As long as they still have some people that is with them, that keep on supporting them, they will still go on with it without needing to grow through through black, black market. Anyway, uh, next CG. Uh, CG said that uh, uh, they said that they will portray them as people that have that consented to do so. This, they also said that the government have provided your education and so on and so forth. But you say that it is not actually true because notice that even if there are, uh, even if the government is providing with, providing you with a lot of education and so on and so forth, it is not actually being holistic. There are also it's discrimination in school. You, like for example, even if you as poor people can manage to go to school, you cannot uh, maximize your potential in the school anyway because you are being discriminated in the school in the very first place because you are poor because of some narrative that poor people are useless and so on and so forth. So you cannot actually survive in that school. You cannot actually get uh, your potential in that education even if the government have provided you so. In your workplace, this also happens anyway. Uh, next, they say that society is progressive. There are movements, movements like for example, feminist movement, etc., and so on and so forth. And they say that uh, they uh, they can actually go with it, go and help them with reducing the narrative of victim. We say that 
You say that one, all these movements in status quo can survive because in the past, they keep on using the narrative of them as victims. They keep on portraying them as victims. And we said that these sex, work, these sex workers also need to we also need to portray, need to be portrayed as victims anyway, so that they can get attention from society, and society will have the incentive to actually help them at the end of the day. Uh, we, uh, they also said that uh, these sex workers actually have the ability to sustain themselves. We said that it, it is not true. One, uh, the reasons they they wanted to become sex workers in the first place is because one, because of maybe because of uh, economic crisis and two because they they have no alternative and no skills like for example they don't have any skill that will provide them sustainability at the end of the day we say that uh, we say that even if they have alternatives or skills we say that it is still uh, their skills is maybe their skills is not enough for them to survive in their business world and cannot provide them with sustainability at the end of the day this is harmful because they cannot sustain their life at the end of the day and sex, being sex workers is the only alternative for them to actually survive and this and get sustainability at the end of the day uh, uh, the, the government may will may, maybe will also say that they become sex workers to get satisfaction but we reject this from this premise because they do not become sex workers to get satisfaction at any way because one the risk of you being sex workers is so much there are hiv and so on and so forth uh, get it this proves to you that there are a lot of harm so this means that they do not consented to be sex workers in the very first place the reason they become sex workers is because of economic crisis and so on and etc and that i have explained before moving on to my argument one on how this portrayal will reduce sex more sex we reduce sex workers in the future. The government, let's talk about government. Uh, we believe that the government will have the incentive to actually give better welfare and the government will have the incentive to provide more training for uh, those women to society that is desperate in the status quo. Because of this narrative, uh, that pot this portrayal that says sex workers are victims anyway, because they see them as victims, they will feel pity for them and will actually have the incentive to actually help them, to actually provide them with better welfare at the end of the day. Next, moving on to the society. The society of the society will also have the incentive to help them. One, we have public discourse. People will discuss about these things in public discourse anyway. What they, they will discuss about what are their harms, what should we do to help them, lead to them, understand why that happens, and find the solution to prevent that sex workers from happening again in the future. Uh, they become sex workers because they think that it is the only way to actually get a lot of money in a short term of, of time it is to be sex workers. The society can also take the incentive to actually help them and prevent them from doing that again. Notice that in status quo on, on how people and how on how society can help them by, for example, uh, uh, buying things from this mom, to, from this old, from this old, to, from this women to actually help them and have the, the society will have the incentive to help them and prevent them from actually uh, actually being sex workers in the future. And uh, I'm going to next time to talk about irrationality. One on their side, we say that these sex workers will not have the rationality to think that one, it is actually harmful because they would just easily sign up for that sex work because they do not understand about that. Two, even if they understand the harm, they will still uh, deny the fact that it is really harmful towards them because A, they see that nobody actually cares about them, so they will just do it anyway because it is the only way to survive because nobody cares about them. And three, they are denying the fact that uh, they are having other potential they can use. They will say that I will, I would just still be sex workers anyway because I have no potential to, uh, for me to actually sustain my life at the end of the day. So we, we, the conclusion is that by the government having the incentive to provide better welfare and better training for the society and and the society having the public discourse and at the end of the day having the incentive to help these individuals, it will lead to them actually be more rational in their decision they will understand that there are actually some people a lot of people care about me so why should i be sex workers anyway if uh, if uh, if everyone can help me right so we believe that it it is proven to you that uh, they there will they will be more rational at the end of the day under under us of the house thank you
ladies and gentlemen, as the closing side of the government, uh, as the government meet, I, I, I would like to summarize the debate. Uh, first of all, we, I'm going to talk about the opening government. The opening government always said about the toxic fears of observer or portrayed by media or social media and patriarchal uh, difference and sinful. Like, uh, but we are going to tell you why, why uh, our side, why the closing government is better than that. And, and the second, uh, and from the opposi uh, opening opposition, they always said about the privilege, the education problem, economic problem, uh, and they don't get enough uh, help from the government, and the government is failed to support them, and extra. And for the uh, closing opposition, they, uh, they said about sex, sex worker is, is seen as the uh, as the not, no, not only as, uh, is, is seen as a victim, but in the end, it's gonna uh, it's gonna help them. But for me, it's but for the closing government, this is not true, which is I going to prove later. So first of all, toxic fuel of observer. Not the, it's not only come from the outside of the house. It's also come from the inside of, of the family, of the friends, of the social media, and and also the portrait by media is also have a heavy influence toward this victimized of the uh, sex workers. And patrilineal differences is a really problem because uh, it's on, because uh, it's a good cultural differentiation between Asia and some some country in, in Europe or in uh, USA because this is something, uh, because sex work is seen as something uh, not a really good occupation, but still, the status quo, there's, there's still a lot of uh, sex worker even in uh, conservative nation in Indonesia. Uh, that, uh, that, that's why we, we, we try to normalize this occupation because this is something that we see, uh, as, uh, as, older, as, my, as my member already said, uh, this job require require a, character, a certain requirement. For example, they need to be mentally ready. They need to be apparent, uh, attractive. They need they need some social skills. That's why in the first place, this is something uh, you you can just give your life to become the sex worker, but just like that. Because you need this, this certain requirement, so you can work as a sex work, sex worker. Also, we also like to. Uh, uh, Comment our arguments that women right is also go going to help them. Uh, what what we mean with by going with to help them? It's it's not only they're gonna oppose them. The, the, it's 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 going maybe they're gonna going to oppose the sex worker, but in in the good way because they actually try to end this kind of act uh, that is simply not going to be enough from the government side. We already uh, and, and and the next thing is they all uh, the opposition side always said about the welfare of the. The welfare, the privilege of the sex worker. Actually, they, they, they still have the privilege to be the member of the nations, right? Even though they are, even though they are sex worker, doesn't mean that that privilege is completely eradicated. They still get the privilege to choose. They still get privilege to uh, to get the medical support. Then also, uh, they said about economic and. Uh, economic and social problem, which is seen as uh, since the childhood, but actually, uh, government already uh, 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 already support them with uh, enough welfare, uh, such as a free school for everybody and free even to, even a free university for at some uh, at some state university. That's why we think that uh, not enough welfare from the government uh, from the government is not true because the, the government already provide all all they can need, but still in the end they. They still choose to be the sex worker, even even though they they know it's seen as a bad occupation. They, it's seen as uh, uh, the the image from the society gonna see them as a bad occupation. But still, in the end, they they still gonna do it. That's why the porn industry in Japan is still exists because not only the opening government said about the fame and about the uh, status that they get, it's actually uh, they can get success from them. They can get wealthy. They can even even from from the status quo, some of the uh, some of the porn star is actually getting married. They 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 actually getting uh, getting to forget their past and continue with their life and get, getting married. Uh, and then the open op opposition also said about the exiled and excluded from the society, which mean which is not completely true because in the end we, we in the end you are. Even though that this is something that they already choose by uh, by themselves, so they know the consequences about about choosing this this job. 
and they, they, they know that if, if they, are, they are going to be fined out, they are going to be exiled or excluded. But it, that is the worst case scenario. That is the opposition side trying to bring. What, what I'm trying to bring is that is, uh, even though they are trying to forget their form of, uh, formal occupations, they are going to, uh, they're going to be initiated by the government to participate in uh, any kind of uh, training, in any kind of social uh, training that they can get. So, so in the end, not only they are, they are, they are, they are forgetting that they are formal, uh, formal occupation, but also they are, they are, we can provide them with some set of skills new to them so, so they can get a proper job. Uh, so, uh, that's, uh, it's not going to get them occupation like doctor or engineer or something like that, but ex, uh, at, at the best they can try to not going to work as a sex worker. So that's all my argument and I'm, as the closing government, is proud to support this motion. Thank you. Let's try to frame it out the justification that coming from the Kazi government. They say that it is justified to giving the to giving uh, this opportunity to the people to become sex workers because it also needs the attractiveness for you to begin with to become a good sex workers, for example, to gaining benefit and so on and so forth. But ladies and gentlemen, the the, extra, the attractiveness that they mean is not exclusive only to becoming a sex worker, ladies and gentlemen. All the workers that you need to pursue for your futures also need your attractiveness. You need the spirits and so on and so forth. Even to become a thief also you need this attractive, attractiveness. But let's see how harms if you if you try to put your attractiveness to these kinds of things, it will cause more uh, higher in a harms things rather than the good thing itself, ladies and gentlemen. So, in my week speech, I'm going to bring two major Part, two major points of independent rebuttals and also one point of clashes. First, one major. Oh, first, uh, my independent rebuttal. They say that the training, that, uh, the open government side of the house, say that the training that exists in our society is no longer help the this uh, people. So. Uh, even if this training is exists, there are still people who become sex worker, ladies and gentlemen. But we see in the current status quo, as my member had already told you, that this training is also had already helped them to having at least the basic capability, which enough to fulfill at least their basic needs, ladies and gentlemen. What kind of the, capa the, the capability itself is that uh, to become a tailor, for example, to become a cooker, and also to start their own small medium enterprises, for example. Ladies and gentlemen, we think it is something that fair is will for this for this uh, people to having this. Uh, no, thank you. To have this on to having this uh, to having this job, ladies and gentlemen, because at, because this is actually something that easier. Because when people trying to see that this kind of thing is not something that uh, a victim, they will try they will try to deny the fact that also they have this capability itself, ladies and gentlemen. Why in our side, even if, for example, these kinds of things not giving you the higher salary as you become a pro, uh, pro, uh, to become a sex worker, because at least you will you will have uh, less risks, even if that's high, uh, not high, that comp uh, not high salary in comparison it's still okay because w the work that you will have will be sustainable you will be have less cost the less cost that you will pay for your future no thank you and also uh, if they not seeing it as the if they if the government will uh, uh, if government don't see it as a harm things it will lead to another harms let uh, uh, another harm. What kinds of harm it's, itself is that people will less incentivize to join this training itself because they think that it's no longer help them. People will be less concerned to, particip to participate in the training. People will will be less will be less concerned in receiving people advice to utilize uh, something that they actually they will have. And also the conclusion, 
the conclusion is that this program will be failed to cover the society in terms of the right of getting the proper training for their own for their own sofas, ladies and gentlemen. So going to my class, going to my classes. So that is uh, so in my classes, whether or not this is something that. Um, uh, using this authority to your full body is something that morally good or not. They say that uh, we have to respect the freedom of expression. We should uh, we should not uh, as sham that kinds of worker. We have giving the equal jobs to uh, to all the people, ladies and gentlemen. First, I say that if something is not true. We we shouldn't give them uh, this full authority because the risk that will happen is more higher than the. It's higher in comparison rather than benefit. The worst case scenario that probably will happen in their site is that you will have a you will you will you you have to cover your your health issues in the end of the day. In the end of the day, for example, like HIV, uh, gonorrhea, syphilis, um, and so on and so forth. Which we think in Carlos Atusco, we see that these kinds of health issues is something that's still uncurable, ladies and gentlemen. All the drugs that provide by our government is still in, in the experimental drugs. So, there, so that is why their best case scenario that's saying that it will give in the protection also to the society will not ever be feasible. Because to begin with, the doctor itself also still have no any kind of preventive action itself to having these kinds of things and also we think that it is uh, they and also they say that uh, we cannot giving this uh, we not thank you we cannot this uh, uh, we cannot give this kinds of things because also there's a people who have a privilege also have educations so it's not just uh, it's, it's not just certifications are opening or, or also already say because they have they are in privilege, in privilege ladies and gentlemen in my extensions even the privilege itself also can be a trap in, a, in, in, the, in this kinds of toxic circle itself why because these kinds of people who have this good privilege they, for example they are having good educations they also have a good incomes they're coming from the high economic income it still have a tendency for them to become irrational to become a sex worker why because because they will, they will tend to be trapped in a in a bad circle of relationship. They will trap in a uh, in a in a circle that they only have friends that have. Uh, let's say they have a narrative of friends with benefit itself. Why they will tend to have? Uh, they why they will tend to be trapped in these kinds of things because they have more money. They will utilize, but they will take. They will be taken the benefit by their friends. The, but their friends to join and hang out and so on the hedonistic uh, lifestyle and so on etc. So that is why it is something. It is also can, can feasible for the uh, privileged people to have this irrationality to begin with, ladies and gentlemen. Even if this choice, their choice is also constructed by the uh, stru uh, structural uh, operations and uh, and denying the fact that uh, to prevent this kinds of uh, disease is also something that hurt. But let's try to engage to their point that uh, it is better to let this, uh, it's, it is okay to let this uh, sex workers as a legal things because we don't want to make them work as a, in, the, in the underground movement. But we think they want to give the protection to these people. But we think this protection is also never explained by them how the protection will be feasible. In, in our side, we say it's not feasible because government cannot control where, which, which partner they will have, ladies and gentlemen. In, a sex, in the sex industry itself, you will be forced to partner to anyone, for example. Be, you will be hard, uh, the government will hard to make sure that these people also injected by particular disease and so on and so forth. So that is why, in conclusion, this disease is, can be spread to anyone which government cannot control to begin with, ladies and gentlemen. They say also want to provide the health, uh, the, the health insurance to these people, but we see this health insurance will not ever be enough because, as I said before, this kind of thing is uncurable. In our side, the control will be better because the control will be coming from its source to prevent people to do these harm things. People will try to avoid this job. People will try to utilize their own potential, which is very feasible, as I has already told you, that it will incentivize the narrative of how harm or how how harms the sex worker itself there will be a better education because they will input into the school curriculum they will input into the tertiary education subjects so that is why the motion falls thank you